Hi, this is JP Cervoni. I'm a session player from Los Angeles. I'm here with inventor Rick Loyacono, and we're talking about the Irvana nut system. Hi, Rick. Hi, JP. How did you come up with the idea of the Irvana nut, and could you explain to us how it works? Well, it, it's a basic problem that all guitar players have run into, and it's, it's basically, it has to do with uh, playing open chords and other chords in tune with each other, and it's, and it's really difficult to do unless the, the uh, strings are compensated for the mass, pitch, and t tension of each string. Being that they're different, they have to be compensated for differently. And uh, when you do that, it allows you to play all the chords up and down the fretboard in tune with each other. And that's basically how it works. How is the nut going to affect my tone? It's actually going to make it better. You know, if you like bone, it's, it's very similar to bone. It's better than a piece of plastic, you know, and it's very similar also to the Graftec Tusk material. So your tone is going to be much better than a normal nut. Am I right by saying that ESP is using your system already? Yes, they're using it in a few of their upper end uh, guitar lines, and uh, we are also uh, using it with uh, conjunction with uh, Material Guitars. Uh, they have them, I think, on all our guitars now. And we also have uh, some major manufacturers we're working with uh, for next year. What is the difference between the Irvana nut system and the bus feeding system? Well, the Irvana system is a more balanced, equal temperament system as opposed to buzz feet and system which is more of a tuning trade-off where there's areas in the guitar that don't play as well uh, and also uh, the system is a lot easier to install there, there's it's less intrusive there is uh, you know it's easier to to put this thing in and, and not have to pull the, the the nut out and devalue the instrument and cut into the fretboard like the uh, buzz feet and system and also tuning is a little easier because you don't have to tune to any offsets do you need to use a special tuner for this? No, there's no special tuner at all. It, you, once you put the system on, you treat it like a normal guitar, plays like a normal guitar, you intonate it just like a normal guitar. Uh, how do we install the system on the guitars? Well, we have a, a retrofit system that uh, basically can be installed on any guitar. It's uh, something that we, you know, we, we tell the customer that they need to have a, a, a qualified tech to install it. It's just, it can get pretty technical with, you know, setting it up with a strobe tuner. Uh, and then we have the OEM nut, which is uh, for the manufacturers, and that's a little easier because they'll know from our specs how to install it. Can we use the nut on acoustic guitars? Yes, you can. And, and there's, there's one slight difference on an acoustic guitar, and that would be on the G string, being that the G string is a wound string. You're, you're changing the tension slightly. It has, uh, it has more tension, so it, the interval is more correct so it requires less compensation so that that uh, break-off point is slightly changed and that's that's it and then we have a, a, a bridge also that uh, is compensated that we sell it's a saddle that, that uh, fits into the bridge and with those two things it, you can do the same thing you could on an electric guitar it'll play in tune just like an electric I'm aware that with the best fitting system we cannot use a capo on the acoustic guitar, uh, what about the Irvana nut system? Yes, you can. It doesn't affect it whatsoever, you know, because you've already you've straightened everything out, and when you capo it, it, it doesn't uh, hurt it a bit. It's it, in fact, it makes it better even when you capo it. Very exciting. How much does the system cost? Well, our, our retrofit version uh, retails for under thirty-five dollars, which is very affordable considering what it does. And we also have the OEM version, which manufacturers will use and uh, that will be a lot less because of the quantity that they would buy. Would, we could give them a price break on that, so it's very, very affordable for the manufacturers. Okay, Rick, using a normal guitar and a normal nut, let's say, let's use a, a G. Let's pluck a G. Uh, it's always a big problem. Yeah, it's the biggest offender. And, uh that shows, that's the G-string, that shows that it's in tune. Now if the wheel were to move clockwise, that would mean that this note would uh, be sharp. So I'm going to hit a uh, G-sharp and watch how that, that uh, wheel will move cl uh, clockwise. It's very sharp. And that's that, really that's, sharp, that's a, yeah. a G-sharp, the first I, interval. I have a problem, let's say, with the B-string. Why don't we show the B-string as well? Okay, B-string. Get that in tune. So there it is in tune, B e string open. And then I'll fret it. C 
still sharp. Still sharp. Not as sharp as a G, but sharp. And that's where the different variation in uh, breakoff points of the nut come in. You know, certain strings need more compensation than others. And that's why that's like that. Why don't we grab a guitar with the nut system, and we'll do the same thing. Okay. Now, this guitar has your nut system installed. Why don't we do the same thing? Okay. Let's pluck a G. Let's try a G. That's in tune. It's right on the money. And then we'll try to uh, play a G sharp. That is in tune. Same. Right there. Right in tune. And let's go to a B. Try a B string. And in tune. And let's spread it. It's right in tune. Wow, perfect. That's right where it's supposed to be. What a problem solver. Yeah. Especially on acoustic when you play a D, try to compensate all your tunic and all of that. Right. It's all, all history. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, so everything's balanced, so it plays in tune. Wow, Rick, thanks very much. Uh, my dog thanks you as well because it doesn't go like this no more every time I play a chord. You know, the vibration are in tune now. And uh, for closing, uh, I recommend this uh, system uh, highly. Uh, I have it on all my guitars, acoustic and electric. Just go out there. Put it on your instrument and begin to play in tune. Thank you.